As uh, usual, we're going to get started with news you can use, but today I'm going to do a, a special segment because uh, we've got some news brewing regarding interest rates and what the Fed's going to do. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, phrases that pays this. Some of the things in particular that you've been asked in terms of questions from uh, sellers or buyers that you didn't like to answer. And I'll give you some actual tangible, usable intel and some things that you can use. Um, uh, here's a good one that actually has got, uh, uh, got a good question. Um, some things that you can actually use out there to talk to sellers to diffuse these kinds of situations. Uh, so let's go ahead, Ash, let's go ahead and have you <clears throat> read them. Let's, let's deal with them one at a time and I'll tell you how I'd answer them. All right. So Eric had put in here, uh, okay, well just give me an offer and we'll go from there. Um, that, that's not really a question. That's, they're asking something, but it's not a question. Uh, let, I'll skip back to that in a second. Let's go ahead and go to one of the other ones and I'll, I'll, I'll get in a roll and then we'll show you how that one can be answered. So one that I've gotten in the <clears> past <throat> was, how am I supposed to know you aren't just going to screw me once I sign over my house? Here's what I can say. You know, that is a great question, ma'am or sir. Why did you ask that right now? Or, you know, that is a great question. Why is that important to you? Now, what you do by asking, uh, by answering either one of those ways is you flip the script on them and you've turned it around from you having to answer something to them having to answer to you. What their brain will do, if you look at NLP, it will trigger a response in their brain mechanism to forget about the question they just asked and it'll turn around to having to think about the answer to the question you just asked them. So you compliment them up front by saying things like, you know, that is a great question. You know, that's, that's really important. I love that question. Why is that important to you? You know, that is a great question. Why did you ask that right now? And you'll be surprised if you, if you do a role play, if you've got a partner or you've got an accountability partner in this group and you guys work together, I would go ahead and try that with them. And you'll be surprised. Don't tell them you're going to do it. Just do it. And you will be surprised how far down the path you can get without ever actually having to answer uh, that direct question. So uh, read me some of the other questions that, that folks have put in there and uh, we'll talk about some of those. Then we'll go back to the one about, just give me an offer. Yeah, so the other one that's in here from Gina is one question that leads to conversation slash explanation is, are you an investor? Are you an investor? And another is about free or clear or other financial status of the property involved. Okay. I'm not sure of that one, but, uh, you know, are you an investor? It's the same. I would answer the same way. You know, that is a great question. And I'd say it slowly. And I, you know, if you're talking to them on Zoom or you're talking to them in person, you can get the inflection. You know, that is a great question. Use your hands, gesture, doing that kind of thing. That's a great question. Why is that important to you right now? You know, that's a great question. Why did you ask that? And it will turn it back around on them and you will never have to answer that question. I guarantee you they will forget about uh, that ever coming up. Now, let's talk about if they say, you know, uh, can you just give me a price? Um, the other way to handle this is you can say, yes, I can. And you can just let it go from there and then see what they say, because they haven't asked you to, you know, actually give you a price. Can you give me a price? Can you just give me a quote? Sure, I can do that. And just let it, in this business, silence always wins. So he who can keep his mouth shut longer uh, will, will win that battle. And so if you say something like, yes, I can, they'll have to come back and they'll have to think outside their normal thought train. Okay, so what kind of price is it? Well, that's a great question. Why is that important to you right now? You know, even something like that that sounds silly with regard to the question, they'll have to think about that. Well, you know, I don't want to waste time. You know, they'll have a hard time thinking about it. The other thing you can do on price specific questions is you can say, you know, I would love to be able to give you a price right now, but I'm going to need a little bit more information. Is this a good time to gather that? You know, is, that a good, is this a good time for you to share some information that I need in order to get you the highest price possible? So I would try those, those two approaches. And you guys can go ahead. You guys all get the replay link on this thing. 
and we post it up on YouTube in our news you can use section so you can go back and listen to this again. But if they ask you for a price, you know, can you give me a price? Will you give me a price? Yes. Just leave it at that. Let them go back and say, okay, we'll give it to me. Well, I'm going to need more information. Is this a good time? Will you, will you be capable of giving me information? What do you ask them? You guys know this from reading the scripts. Your things like, well, tell me about your house. You know, how big it is, uh, bedrooms, bathrooms. What I always incur at that point is I say, listen, tell me what you like best about the house and what you like worst about the house. Also the neighborhood. What do you like best about that neighborhood? What do you like worst about that neighborhood? Now, going back to grammar school days, if you were called on, people would get, you know, anybody who gets called on by the teacher, especially when you're younger, gets panicked, right? It's like, oh my gosh, I got to come up with an answer. It's got to be right. That same mindset is working with these sellers when you ask them those questions. You know, tell me about your house. Uh, but you want to try and keep it conversational. And <clears throat> if they don't use enough verbiage, uh, three bedroom, two bath, 1,459 square feet. Okay, well, tell me about the condition of it. You know, what room do you like best? What room do you like least? Why? And, and have them get you an essay answer. You, the, the goal here is to get them to talk. Their goal, your goal, is to get them to sell you why that house is important for you to buy. And so you want to use that kind of language. Always take it from a very objective, specific, you know, yes, no numerical answer and turn it into an essay question. Why? Because when people are talking in essay form, they're in ex explanation mode. When they're in explanation mode, they're in sales mode. They're trying to sell you on something. So it's it flips the script instead of, them coming to you somewhat defensively or offensively in some cases saying, you know, what do you want for my, you know, how much are you going to give me for my house? What are you going to blah, 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 blah. Great. Right? Tell me about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, get them. The, the more you can get them to talk, the better. You, and you do two things with that. You, you turn them from offensive to defensive mode. Uh, you also put them in a sales pitch mode. They're, in other words, it's people's natural inclination when they talk a lot to try and convince somebody. And most importantly, it puts you in a rapport building position with them. Uh, remember, the way that human brains work, people trust people who listen to people. It's not what I say, it's how well I listen to you. That's the most important skill set that you guys need to develop out there is the listening skill set. Now, if you're dealing with an intransigent seller who's not verbose, not giving you lots of information, um, you, you're going to have to start asking essay-based questions to get them to talk more. And you can always use the old three-question rule. Uh, you guys have seen this. They've made fun of this in a, in a bunch of movies. But it is a real truism. When you ask the person the same question three times, and typically it's not the same thing exactly three times, but it is the same question, they'll have to answer it. They'll feel their brain, NLP will teach you this, uh, their brain will trick themselves into thinking, okay, I've been asked that thing three times now, I'm gonna have to answer. So, you know, if you ask them the first time to, you know, elaborate, tell me more, what bedroom do you like the best? Or what house, what room do you like the best? What room do you like the least? What do you like about the neighborhood uh, type thing? And they're like, bathroom, kitchen, you know, whatever. Okay, so tell me about the kitchen. Why? Is it your least favorite room? Tell me about the condition of it. There must be something there you don't like, you know, and they'll say uh, stove. Okay, well, so tell me about the stove in the kitchen. What is it specifically you don't like? And while you're doing that, tell me about the tile and the flooring and the countertops and the ceiling and, you know, do you have enough cupboard space and all that. You're asking that same question three different ways, but eventually that by that third time, they will open up and they'll start talking. When they talk, you listen. And when you listen, you win. That's how that thing works. All right. That is our phrases that pays us for today. We can go on and do a whole show on this. Um, and we eventually will. We've done them in the past. They could, uh, Kevin could probably link you back to some of those previous shows where we've done phrases that pays us. But I would uh, definitely, for those of you new on the call, looks like we have a lot of new folks on this call today. I would definitely go back and look at some of these old uh, news you can use clips. And there's some really specific things that can help you when you're dealing with 
uh, some of these sellers. All right, 